Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and I'm back with another Traveler's Notebook process for you guys. You guys were super supportive and had a great response to the last one, so we're going to continue with these for a little bit. I'm still working through a backlog of photos. I've gone ahead and pulled out some products from the Maggie Holmes collections. I have the paper from the Carousel collection and then I have some printables like that big yellow tag from the Chasing Dreams collection. I would recommend getting the physical products not the digital products. Um, it was kind of a pain to print and cut everything, but I do have tons of it, so that's that's nice. Um, I also grabbed some products from the Felicity Jane kit for the month of March. So I have this gold foil paper here from the Carousel Collection, and it looked like waves. And since the photo is a photo of my kids going fishing with my dad, um, I wanted to incorporate that without it being overly like campy, outdoorsy. Um, I still wanted it to be girly and so this paper was perfect for that so I am going ahead and covering up that whole left side of the spread because I had some bleed through from my splatters on the previous page this will cover that up and then I have here a what are these called pocket card pocket page card I don't know total brain melting moment <laughs> but I have a whole bunch of this project life card project life card I have a ton of these in my collection so I'm going to try to use some of them up I'm going to layer it with some of these florals these were printed from the chasing dreams collection I did print all of these out on 65 pound white cardstock I will link, link the digital file or the where you can get the digital files as well as the physical products down below for you guys as well as my printer and all that goodness will be linked in the description box down below and so really it's just a matter of layering and I spent quite a bit of time before I turned on the camera picking out products with colors that would work with the spread and some kind of sticking with yellows and that kind of mint aqua color a little bit of gold and a very very small amount of pink um, it is my dad and my boys so I didn't want it overly pink and girly <laughs> so we're, we're gonna go with these other colors here and I am going to stamp the date. It is from two years ago almost. Um, and so I am stamping that on this little label from Felicity Jane. Her stuff is, has a slight coating on it. So when I stamp on it, I do use stays on ink. That way it's permanent and doesn't slide around too much. And I can just create a little grouping here and I'll attach it all together with my tiny attacher. I am trying to be conscious of not using my tiny attacher on elements that will be directly opposite of where my photos are. Um, same thing with grommets and just metal bits like that because I don't want it to scratch my photos when this uh, insert is closed. So I'm trying to kind of be conscious about where I add those elements. Um, this here is another printable piece from the Maggie Holmes collection. And this side of the page is going to be where I do my journaling. And then the other side of the page will be the title and my photo. And I kind of fussed and struggled with this for some reason. I don't know. I It was a little bit harder for me to put together this spread than even the last one. So um, these two squares here, I had a square die in my collection and I just used that to punch out these squares out of the carousel collection um, papers. And for the photo, I did again print it in black and white, um, but that little fish that my dad is holding kind of gets lost in the photo. And so I'm taking some Distress Ink in Squeeze Lemonade and Cracked Pistachio and one of these Fantastics, these are a foam blending tool. And I'm going in and adding some color detail to the fish. And this is just going to pop that fish out. And I just thought it was funny and cute. And they're colors that go with the spread. Um, these are not the actual colors of that fish. <laughs> but it just kind of helps it stand out and brings attention to what is going on in the photo. And so um, the Distress Ink, since I'm working on photo paper, um, they go on and can tint photos like this because they are kind of transparent. And so it doesn't completely go over the fish. If I use Use distress oxide inks um, I would have a little bit of problem with the oxide portion of that ink so I am sticking with regular distress inks for that and you can see it's just super bright and vibrant um, I hit it with my heat tool and it is good to go so I have here a frame from the Felicity Jane collection 
and you're going to be seeing a lot of these collections because this is what I have. I don't have years and years worth of um, stash built up for this kind of project yet. So you're probably going to see a lot of the same collections over and over. So bear with me, but at least I'm going to use up some of those products, I guess. And I'm just going to go ahead and trim that photo down to the frame size. And like I said, it's just really a matter of layering. And so um, I think I'm a little bit lazy. And so I wanted to stop at one point and it just wasn't where I wanted it to look. And I realized it just needs more layering. It needs more pieces. It needs just more things going on. For the tag here, I am adding a little gold grommet using my crocodile. And I'm just making sure I smush it really, really flat so I don't have any issues with it later on as I work through this book. And I love just tying in, you know, the yellow from each side of the page, trying to have an equal amount of pink and greens and just trying to pull in the colors on each side of the spread so it looks nice and even. And you can see those particular papers that I picked out, I picked them out because again, they have that kind of like a fish scale or wave kind of motif to them. And so again, working with the fishing and the lake and all of that without being super obvious in your face, um, you know, some kind of camping collection or outdoors collection or something like that. So it'll still be girly. It still go with the kind of feel of the rest of my insert so far, um, but we'll work with that particular photo. And I am letting things kind of hang off of the edge of the spread. And that just, I don't know, it just looks a little bit more pleasing to the eye when you look at it, when things are kind of work coming in from the edge. I said, I am new to all of this. This is a new adventure for me. And so you are going to learn along with me. <laughs> um, my last process video, check it out. I did link some girls down below who have YouTube channels that I have fallen in love with and watch and learn from and check out Pinterest, just, you know, checking out Traveler's Notebook inserts or spreads and seeing, you know, the kinds of things that people are doing and getting inspiration from that. This little wood veneer piece is from the uh, Felicity Jane March kit. That's the Henley kit. And this one I am going to color with uh, Cracked Pistachio Distress Oxide ink because Distress Oxide ink has a pigment dye blend. And so the pigment property of the ink is going to allow it to maintain its color. And so you'll still be able to see the green on top of that, you know, wood veneer piece. If I just use the Distress ink, which is a dye ink, you wouldn't get the intensity of color um, on that piece. So I did go ahead and just blend that and I made sure it was dry before I was messing with it. And I am using just an adhesive runner to adhere it. I'm not sure if that's going to be strong enough. I may have to come back in with a stronger um, adhesive. And then here I have the gold alphas from the Felicity Jane kit. You can buy these individually and I'm going to need like 50 billion sets. They are the perfect font. I love the gold. They are just awesome. And so I've been using these in almost every spread I've done so far. So my title is going to be Kiss the Fish. Um, my dad had caught a little bluegill there and he's kind of sticking it in Aiden's face like he's gonna kiss it <laughs> that super grossed out look on his face is so funny that was not a planned photo that's just kind of how it happened and we happened to catch it on film and so I'm super glad that I have that um, documented now so and I'm going to take some of the gold sequins from the Henley kit from Felicity Jane and just use them to fill in some of these blank areas that happened so um, and it's also going to tie in the two pages together and make it look like a cohesive spread. So I'm just kind of using a pair of eyelash tweezers. Those are a staple in my craft room. I know that sounds crazy, um, but they make it convenient for picking up little pieces like this. And then I have some Tombow Mono Multi Glue over there. That glue is sticky when it's dry. I would recommend using some Ranger Multimedia Matte. I just was out of that and so I'm using this particular glue so just make sure you're careful that it doesn't ooze out the sides of things or it will stick your pages together. So I'm just going to lay down all the sequins where I want them first and then I can go in with that glue and glue everything down. Um, and then off camera I go ahead and do some journaling for um, this entry today and then that's pretty much it for this spread. So I'm just going to finish up with these 
uh, little sequins here and then that's it. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Um, I really appreciate your guys' encouragement as I head into this new project. Uh, check out the description box for links to the products used. I have my blog post has more uh, close-up photos of the project and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.